A little bit nervous, a little You're bit shaky. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, travelers? Hello from Copenhagen. Today is a very exciting day. Not only because um, Zitzilla or whatever I was calling it is gone, and um, I don't think I'm getting a cold anymore. I thought it was this morning. That's all very good news, but it's even more exciting because I'm going on my first trip ever alone with my brother. <laughs> so my okay let me stand on this side so to introduce my brother he's been in like snippets of my videos before his name is Jacob and he is uh, 19 so this is his first time ever going to Asia and we're doing it together so Hong Kong is what's on the agenda today and uh, it's gonna be very exciting we're going to Hong Kong <laughs> and also it's Jacob's first time flying business class. It's, it's a big day. It's a big day. So what are your uh, expectations, firstly, for for the flight? What are your expectations? My expectations are... Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I'm very expectatious. Expectations. <laughs> yeah, this is super exciting. Yeah. I've seen your videos. It seems awesome. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, SCS business can be very hit or miss, but we're going to talk about... Actually, we can talk about that now, because once we're on board, SCS, the passengers are always very quiet, because they're Scandinavian, so it's very awkward to talk, so I think I should say it now. So I'm taking my brother on this trip. I paid for both of us, for the flights and everything, and um, there's something I want to mention, because I got a couple... Okay, you don't have to sit here. <laughs> so there's something I want to mention, because I got a couple comments on my recent videos of people complaining that the videos were sponsored or whatever, and I just want to say that, um, as always, I haven't emphasized this in a long time, but as far as I'm aware, I'm the only flight reviewer who has a policy to always pay for every single flight I take on my own. I don't accept free flights. I don't accept upgrades. It's all me. Yeah, so it's your choice, obviously, as viewers, whether you want to watch a YouTuber or someone reviewing flights who got the flight for free and obviously has other interests, or if you want to watch like a one second ad from a brand that I support that has worked with me for that has worked with me for a long time and ensures my reviews are completely objective and honest. And of course I'll be continuing to work with sponsors who want to support my passion for objectivity. So um so yeah, we both got a sweet deal today using SAS Smiles. We're gonna talk about how I got this flight in business class for the price of economy toward the end of the video. So if you want to stay tuned for that, especially if you live in Sweden. Anytime I fly SAS, I'm only paying the price for economy, but we have business class. So, um, good He's deal. Awesome. Let's head to the gate and board. Looking good. Here is our plane Star Alliance livery A340-300. So beautiful. We are boarding now. Jacob's behind me. We literally went straight into the gate area and started boarding. This flight is really so good because it leaves at 9 p.m. And like one hour later you eat and then you go straight to sleep. And for me, bedtime is 10 anyway. And then we will wake up in Hong Kong. <laughs> yep, this is us. <laughs> We've got this tiny little cabin to ourselves. Check this out. So I'm giving Jacob the seat that's further from the aisle. I'm fine being out here, but yeah, you can see that he has the console on this side and here's my console. Um, waiting at the seat is the typical SAS bedding, Histons. I'll put this in my lap for now. This okay, feels so cool. <laughs> yeah, you guys have seen me review SAS Business Class probably in the past, but um, check this out. Here are the seat controls. Some other controls, charger, headphones, USB, amenity kit, which we'll look at in a second, and the headphones. And then we have a few more seat controls on the side. The tray table comes out like this, and looking straight forward, this is our view. Are you sure? No? <laughs> yep, toothbrush. What else is in here? Let's do an unboxing with Jacob. <laughs> uh, this is just a note what this stuff is. Skincare. What is it? Hold on. 
face moisturizer, toothpaste, <laughs> lip balm, Swedish <laughs> stuff. Oh, that's nice. I feel just like face mask. Yeah, that's good for when you're sleeping. And earplugs. Now I won't have to listen to you. <laughs> Cheers! Jacob doesn't have a beverage, but cheers anyway. Okay, we just got the menus. These really nice fall-themed menus on SAS. What do you think? I think I know which main course you like. Okay, so let's have let's have our own quick look at the menu. Here is the food. And some teas. And lastly, breakfast. We're about to take off, I guess. We haven't started taxiing, so we're a little bit late, but um, I found out there's 200 passengers on board out of 266, so decent load considering the riots in, uh, or the demonstrations in Hong Kong, I'd say, but um, okay, gonna take off. All right, we are still waiting. Someone, is, something is delaying us for pushback, so Jacob's gonna explore the entertainment system for now. All right, I'm gonna check out what else they have to offer. Let's see here, menu, TV, American Dad, one episode, 61 movies, okay. All right, so we've taken off. I just wanted to show you guys, this is what the mattress cover looks like. It is also from Hestens for SAS, which is a Swedish bedding brand. So I think I might put this on my seat right now. Jacob already connected to the Wi-Fi. First hot towels, yeah. Okay, you guys, I am completely shook. Apparently, SAS gives out slippers on their longer business class flights, so uh, that is a surprise to me. All right, our meal is starting with some nuts, and I chose the really nice apple juice that they have. And what did you order to drink? Grey tea. Earl Grey tea. Wow. All right, the food has arrived. Here is my appetizer which is the exact same thing SAS has been serving on their flights for the past two and a half years, which is crazy. And Jacob is going healthy. Tiny little salad. The same salad with the balsamic vinaigrette. Thoughts on this cutlery? Looks good, huh? It looks delicious. Wow. So Jacob ended up getting the uh, goat's cheese dish. Let's get a review. What do you think? Should I eat it first? Yeah, yeah, try it. Try it. It's good. Oh, good. All right. And here is mine. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised because there's no um, protein in it. We have some chanterelles, carrot, um, potato and green beans, but yeah, not sure about this. All right, the meal service is done two hours into the flight. Since I flew SAS the last time two years ago, I really expected them, or since I ate business class meals in SAS business two years ago, I really expected them to up their meal game. Actually, it was just a year and a half ago, but I expected, you know, with the climate, thing going on in Sweden and they're launching new vegan meals. I expected the vegetarian non-dairy meal to be really good, but I'm shocked. I don't think it was good at all. They don't have any like dairy-free desserts except berries, which you can get on literally every airline. So I think Jacob and I are going to go to bed. Uh, I don't have high expectations for breakfast either, so I might just sleep through it. I think that's what's going to happen. Let's make our beds. Let's do it. So
Uh, okay, let's see what his first time lying down in the bed. Let's see what it's like. Good night. This looks so cozy. <laughs> Spacious. It's very spacious. Okay, good night, guys. All right, good night from us brothers. It is bedtime. Good morning, you guys. Wow. How did you sleep? I slept actually eight hours all through the night. Wow. I'm still so tired. <laughs> I yeah. can sleep another eight hours. Here is my breakfast. It has been served and um, I have to say I think this is one of the worst um, vegan breakfasts I've ever been served on a plane. Potatoes for breakfast, um, no thank you. And here is Jacob's breakfast. He has a quiche, some cheese and some vegetables. This also looks quite um, simple if you ask me. All right, it is time to fill out our immigration cards. This is gonna be fun. We will soon be landing in Hong Kong and would like to inform you about the following. We kindly ask you to have your passport and landing papers ready when leaving the aircraft. All passengers who are not in transit to another destination by air or okay, ferry we are approaching Hong Kong now. Sorry, there's like a light thing in your face. Um, so is there anything you want to say before we land? I mean, we can talk more after, but anything you want to say now? A little bit nervous, a little You're bit shaky, yeah. Really? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Alright, we made it. So exciting. Um, bye bye to the seat. And um, we are off into Hong Kong. Smell like asks Jacob. Detergent. Detergent. Okay guys, a few days have passed. We made it to my brother's hostel. Um, firstly, what do you think about Hong Kong so far? Just a few words. There's a lot going on. There are things constantly happening, I love it. Yeah, yeah, and what did you think? So now it's been a few days, but what did you think about the flight? Was it fun? Yes, so fun. the flight was nice. Awesome, the awesome. The flight was amazing. Yep, a really comfortable way to get here. So you guys, clip, hello. Okay, hi guys. This video is me on literally so many different days. It's hilarious. Now, I want to say to everyone who isn't Swedish or Scandinavian, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. There is nothing more fun than sharing these experiences with people you love, with your family. If you're Swedish, continue watching, but otherwise, until I see you all next time, fly safe. To everyone in Sweden, let's get down to business and talk how I managed to get this flight and all my SAS flights in business class for the price of economy. There's something called Fly Premium, which is offered by the SAS 
premium MasterCard in Sweden. I think it's called premium. Um, but the catch is that in order to get unlimited redemptions for business class at the price of economy, you need to earn 200,000 miles in a year. Now, I know that's quite a lot. Most people definitely don't fly that much. I don't fly that much. So there is a way around it. And the way around it is to earn those 200,000 points through credit cards because these points don't have to come from flying. They can come from anywhere. So whether it's car hire, eating in restaurants, or earning them from credit cards through sign-up bonuses and referring your friends, this is a super easy way to unlock the Fly Premium benefit. So what I recommend, I have several posts in the description below from my blog where I compare different American Express credit cards. I also write about the full details on how to get this under my SAS credit cards post. So you can read the full guide there. But what I recommend is getting either an SAS Elite card or SAS Premium card from American Express because with those you'll get either a 12,000 point or 18,000 point sign up bonus. And once you have that, you're slightly on your way toward this goal of 200,000. Now what you wanna do is continue spending on the card, but try to refer your loved ones, your family and friends, anyone who really would need a credit card. If you can refer them, you will rack up points super fast. And if you refer about 10 people and you spend on the card for a year, within 12 months, I promise you, you will have this benefit. You'll be able to fly anywhere in the world for 60,000 points round trip in SES business, which is just incredible. You can go one way for 36,000. The taxes are like super low, lower than $50 usually. So yeah, I have more details below. This is only for people who live in Sweden really, who can get this deal, but I really, really recommend checking it out because it's a life changer for me. Thanks for sticking with me and until I see you all soon, my sweets and a sense cat. Okay, you guys really want me to speak Swedish, but I'm not gonna do it quite yet. Until then, slice safe.